Hello everyone and welcome to the Pongo Techno Valley Weekly News. My name is Alex Sigarist and let's see what happened in the world of tech in Korea for the second week of September. First up, Kakao Enterprise Gangbuk Samsung Hospital jointly developed the industry's first health checkup guidebot. Kakao Enterprise and Songgyungwan University Medical School's Gangbuk Samsung Hospital will jointly develop the healthcare industry's first health checkup guidebot based on an artificial intelligence chatbot service called Kakao Eye Connect Talk. Users can receive information about the laboratory through Kakao Talk upon registration on the day of the examination without downloading a separate app and also get answers for any question they might have during the examination through Kakao Talk channel. Both companies plan to make the entire health checkup process more efficient through the checkup guidebot and work together to discover a business model for creating a customer-centered future hospital through convergence between customer communication channels and the expansion of an AI-based call center system. For our second story, Naver launches a new business solution for local SMEs. Naver has revealed that they have launched a new business solution for local SMEs. The solution they have come up with are place coupons, which can be used to attract new customers or improve the satisfaction of their regulars. Local SMEs that have registered their store information on Naver Smart Place can use various solutions to help their businesses such as Smart Call, Naver Booking, and Naver Order. Place Coupon, which just launched, is a marketing solution that can be issued and distributed by the store owners that customers can use both on and offline. As the type of local SMEs that use Smart Place are diverse, Place Coupon supports a variety of coupon settings. The coupons can either be a discount coupon or a complimentary coupon. The store owner can directly set the amount or percentage of the discount, as well as directly input the information of the complimentary item. With the diversification of marketing solutions for SMEs, such as through Place Coupons, it is expected that there will also be a rise in satisfaction from users getting local information from Naver. For our next story, there's a new service that hopes to increase convenience by integrating valet and electric vehicle charging. Kakao Mobility is partnering with Charge EV, one of the largest EV charging service providers in Korea, to pilot an electric vehicle valet charging service for electric vehicle users. Before the official service launch, Kakao Mobility will conduct a trial service in the parking lot of an IDEA Coffee Lab, which is operated as a 100% valet service, to reinforce the service quality and verify the serviceability for the users. After that, the goal is to officially launch the electric vehicle valet charging service within this year and gradually increase the number of participating parking lots. An Gyu Jin, Vice President of Kakao Mobility Business Division, said, Kakao Mobility is constantly striving to realize its green mobility vision as a part of its ESG management. We will increase the accessibility and convenience for our users by expanding the realm of various smart services for EV drivers. And for our final big story of the day, Moon Yu, based on a Naver webtoon, ranks second in China's top grossing movies of 2022. Naver webtoon reported that the movie Moon Yu, based on the sci-fi webtoon Moon Yu or Dokeng Wolgu by Zhou Sok, is currently ranked at number two in the Chinese box office for 2022. The webtoon Moon Yu is a sci-fi comedy about the struggles of an astronaut who is left alone on the moon after the human race on Earth has been destroyed by an asteroid impact. The webtoon-based film, Moon Yu, was first released in China on July 29th. On the first day of its release, it recorded a profit of about 
58.74 billion won and topped the Chinese box office. Analysts say that it has proven the strong competitiveness of the original Webtoons IP as the box office continues to run while movie theater operations in China have not been normalized due to COVID-19. As of September 5th, the film is expected to rank second in China's box office record in 2022 with a revenue of about 580.3 billion won and 70.67 million viewers. Now let's finally go to our news briefs of the week. The first Pangyo startup investment exchange in 2022 finishes successfully, co-hosted by Gyeonggi-do and GBSA. The 2022 first Pangyo Startup Investment Exchange Conference, hosted by Gyeonggi-do and Gyeonggi-do Business and Science Accelerator, finished successfully on the 31st of the last month. 40 people attended the event, including Gyeonggi-do officials, Pangyo Techno Valley startup company representatives, and venture capitalists. 10 excellent startups in Pangyo Techno Valley were selected for this event. For the successful invitation of these excellent companies, the following events were held. A Pangyo Techno Valley startup company IR presentation, a successful investment attraction seminar, a one-on-one -on -one investment consultation, and a startup investor networking event. For our next news brief of the week, we made Connect Every Town collaborates with the popular anime series Bono Bono. We Made Connect launched a collaborative content with the popular anime series Bono Bono through the mobile game Everytown. We Made Connect will present a new building that utilizes the worldview and design of the anime series Bono Bono through their collaboration, which will run until October 4th. An official from We Made Connect said, we expect that it will be an event that will bring joy to many users as the original intellectual property or IP is perfectly implemented in the game by using the illustration of the increasingly popular anime series Bono Bono that started as a manhwa and has been serialized for over 35 years. And for our final news brief, we made announced a strategic investment in MBM, an African P2E guild project. MBM is Africa's first and largest gaming decentralized autonomous organization, or DAO. With over 186 million game users in Africa, MBM aims to create the largest gaming community in Africa and provide tools to users, investors, developers, and guild operators within the ecosystem. We made CEO Henry Zhang said, this collaboration with MVM will serve as an opportunity to expand the rapidly growing WeMix ecosystem in Africa. And that's it for this week's Pangyo Techno Valley Weekly News. My name is Alex Sigrist, and I'll see you next week.